I am currently tracking this person's phone without their knowledge in real time and the best part is that I didn't have to install any software. I'm simply using a feature that's built in within an app that comes pre-installed on Android and most people actually install this on their iPhone too. And the good news is with this method you can track multiple phones from your device or from your computer and it's absolutely free. But I do have one complaint which I'm going to get to shortly. But first let me show you how to set this up so that you can keep an eye on your family and also let me show you how to check if somebody actually set this up on your phone without your knowledge and without your permission and they really shouldn't be doing that. See when you talk about tracking a phone most people will jump to the negative, a cheating partner. And I suppose you can use it for that, but there are plenty of great reasons to track a phone. Tracking is all about security and peace of mind. Let's say you and your friends could be doing a long road trip. It's comforting to know that somebody back home knows where you are just in case of emergency. There are too many horror stories of road trips going terribly wrong. Or you could be using one of those dating apps and going on your very first date. It would be absolutely superb to have somebody keep an eye on your location just in case something goes wrong. Again, we live in a crazy world. You see, there are loads of good reasons to track a phone besides those dodgy relationships. So this is the phone I want to track and they've got permission to do that. I clicked on the icon at the top. I click on location sharing and I click on share location. Well, how long do I want to allow this phone to be tracked? I'm going to say until you turn this off. And now who's allowed to see this location? Well, I simply select from the list or I simply use one of my contacts. Now, if I close down Google Maps, this person's location will forever be shared. Well, until somebody switches it off. Now, all I have to do, me as a person tracking, is go to maps.google.com. And then I'll be able to see little markers which show me the devices that I'm currently able to track or the phones I'm able to track. Here's one and here's number two. And if I hover over them, it actually gives me the person's name as well as the address. But if I click on it, I also get the address, but I also get the percentage battery life that this device actually has. And if you've got kids, well, you know why this is super, super important. So how do you check if somebody has put this on your phone without you knowing? Simple, click on the icon at the top, which is your account, click on location sharing. And if you should see a card at the bottom of a name you don't recognize, click on that, click on the stop button, click on the three little dots, and then click remove. And that's how you switch off location sharing. So what's my one critique? Well, the person's phone that is being tracked is never notified. To me, that is crazy. I would expect that as I'm being tracked in real time, some alert, some notification pops up on the screen letting me know that someone is right now tracking me. All it would take is for someone with ill intent to get access to the physical phone and within minutes set themselves up to track you. I will say that Google does send you an email reminding you that you are indeed sharing your location. However, all it will take is a simple filter to take that email, dump it into the track you wouldn't even know it until you specifically look for that option as I showed you. And of course, it's not just Google Maps that has this. There are plenty of apps that allow you to share your location with your family and friends. On the iPhone, you have share my location and find my friends. You can also do the same with Snapchat, WhatsApp and a bunch more. The point is that as with any tech, it can be used for good, but it can also be used for evil. So check the apps on your phone that has location sharing capabilities. And whilst you're doing that, don't forget to check out these codes that you can run to check if anyone has set up anything dodgy on your device. And check out this video over here that YouTube thinks you should watch. Hit the head down here to subscribe and I'll see you in this video or this video or I'll see you in both. Let's go.